All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler. He stands five feet six inches tall, swing it. Так, последний бой на сегодня против дерзкого резкого Джастина за резкого и дерзкого Джастина Геджи играем. Не против. Мы слева против нас Джошемит. Че он там машет руками? Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Gaethje. Look at that nasty jab. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes. Oh! He's got him right here. This is crazy! Oh, my goodness! Oh, he might be out! He got Какой-то он вообще мертвый. Не знаю, каких давно не видел. Gaethje gets hit by that leg kick. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Again with the leg kick. How about that shin? Yeah, he's getting lit up here. Showing the punch. Man, his face is a mess. Look at that jab. Nice. Oh! Kick to the face. He's got him right here. Ну, вообще с ним изи какой-то бой. Ну, вот что он делает? Как не делают, ребята? Зачем в воздух пинать? Ну, тоже по кабинам с ноги. Ага. Братан, ну ты тут упадешь сейчас. Фронт кика. Вот. Давай, вставай. И вертушечка. and you see the cut on his eyebrow is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash there. The cut man's going to do it again, but place. of course, oftentimes, as soon as you absorb another strike, that thing opens right back up. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. And you can see both fighters giving and taking in that round. Who's going to be blood? Britney Palmer in the building. All right, here we go with round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight, and he's making the job of his opponent easier. I think he's got to start mixing things. Oh, he's hurt. He's rocked. Body 
kick, look at that. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh! This little shot lands. This could be it right here. Он бедолаг, без ног, он не форк, он пошел. Может, он на болевой. Низить прям. Все, пробуем. Он даже не сопротивляется. Он не сопротивляется даже. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out. Нет, но он старался. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division.